RBI. What is RBI? RBI is short for Restaurant Brands International. Restaurant Brands International is the indirect holding company for Burger King, Tim Hortons, and Popeyes. An indirect holding company is a going concern that owns the majority of shares in another company. RBI is a Canadian company that has its shares listed on both the Toronto Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange. The shares are listed under the symbols QSP and QSR. QSP is the symbol of the partnership exchangeable units traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange. QSR is the symbol for Restaurant Brands International Incorporated, and those common shares are traded on both the Toronto and the New York Stock Exchange. RBI, short for Restaurant Brands International, owns Tim Hortons, Burger King, and Popeyes. But who owns RBI? As of December 31st, 2017, 43.6% of the combined voting power for RBI was in the hands of 3G restaurant brands holding LP. This links back to 3G Capital, which is a global investment firm. It can be ventured to say, therefore, that a global investment firm is in the driver's seat as regards policy decisions for RBI and therefore also for Tim Hortons, Burger King, and Popeyes. This is extremely significant as to what lies down the road for the company. You see, by its definition, an investment firm seeks to grow their invested capital so as to provide a profitable return. And they will do this in this case by increasing sales, increasing the return on sales, and by driving efficiencies across all operations. The purchase price of a share of Restaurant Brands International over the last five years, as of the time of writing, runs anywhere from the low 30s to the high 60s. That's in dollars US. Price to earnings ratio now runs in the low to mid 20s. And this makes the stock a little on the paying a premium for the right of ownership side. However, for those who own Burger King before the join up with 3G, and that was 2014, they are in a position to either sell their shares and take that capital gains as a profit, or continue to hold on those shares and reap the benefit of that consistent dividend with the acceptance of the inherent risk that accompanies stock ownership. Now, dividends. There's that magic word. As of the time of writing, RBI will have a quarterly dividend of 50 cents. That's an annual payout of $2 in dividends per share. All other factors remaining equal, that's an annual return of approximately 2.85% if the shares were purchased for $70 a piece. Looking at figures for 2018, that's a dividend payout ratio of approximately 74%, which leaves approximately 26% of the income for the running of the company. For those who have owned QSR or its processor, Burger King, BK, you have watched your shares appreciate in value and have had dividends they both act as incentive to keep the share. However, if you are new to QSR, 
you will pay a premium for that share ownership. As again, that p and &E ratio is in the 20s. Another factor to consider, if considering the purchase of this stock, is the significant debt the company has acquired. When last viewed, at the time of writing again, total liabilities for this company were $16.5 thousand million dollars or $16.5 billion dollars. That, together with a debt to asset ratio of about 60% and a net income of $163 million dollars means that the managers of RBI have their work cut out for them as regards reducing the total outstanding debt and at the same time maintaining enough cash for future opportunities and the day-to-day -day running of the company. Now, this is just but a brief introduction to you the potential investor about RBI or Restaurant Brands International. Take a look and see if this company meets your requirements for future investment needs. For me, I have owned Burger King stock now for quite a while. I will continue to hold the stock with the understanding that the people behind the scenes of this company will work hard to make their company prosper. In the meantime, I will enjoy the occasional Whopper, fries, and a cold drink as I review the next holding. I hope this helps you, the potential investor, understand a little more about this company, the risks and such, help you make your decisions in your world of investments. Have a good day or a good night, be it whatever time you choose to listen to this video. And again, thank you.